Hi, I'm Teddy Burris. I mean, I am your LinkedIn coach and trainer. Yesterday, I got a call from a lady and she wanted to know, how do we search our connections connections in the new LinkedIn user interface? And rather than give her an answer, I decided I'd create a quick little video. So in the past, we would go to one of our connections. Let me go to a good friend of mine, Mr. Kim Williams. And we would go to their profile and from their profile, we would go to their connections. And the, the connection button has changed. It's over here on the right. If he is sharing his connections with his connections, then I can see all of them here. If he's not sharing them, I have to go down here and I can only see the mutual connections. But over here, I can see all of his. And I can click on this. This is what's changed. From the new user interface, all I can see is I can see the list of all the connections and shared connections, but there is no search feature built into this interface right here. So I can't search Kim's connections. Now, if I go to search, it used to be you have to go to advanced search to do that, but that feature is gone. Let me show you what's under the search feature today. If I go to the search feature by clicking, easiest way to get to the full search functionality is click on the looking glass here. This is the full search function built into LinkedIn and there is no way to search a specific connections connections. So let me show you how to do this today. Instead of starting with your connections and working out to find someone to connect to, you need to start with your goal and work backwards to find the person who can introduce you to that person and introduce you to that company. Let me give you an example. I want to find the VP or the Vice President of Sales that works for Oracle Corporation. So let me build that and show you how to do that search and then show you how to find someone who can introduce you to that person or those people. So you have to start with what's called a complex search string. And let me show that to you. So this is a complex search string that tells LinkedIn to look in the current title field for the words VP sales or the words vice president sales. And if I hit enter, the result is about 305,000, almost 306,000 results of all the people in LinkedIn that have the, uh, based on my network, first, second, and third, uh, and, and, and maybe even groups, all the people who have VP sales or vice president sales in their current title. And you can see that right down here, vice president, VP, vice president sales. Now I have to filter into that list to find people who are second level to me, which means I can get introduced by someone I'm connected with and who work for the corporation Oracle. So I'm gonna click on second level. I refined the list down to 4,900 people. Now I'm gonna select company. I'm gonna add Oracle. I'm gonna select Oracle Information Technology. And now I'm down to nine results of people who are uh, LinkedIn members who have vice president sales, VP sales in their title, second level to me and work for the company Oracle. Now I can drill into each one of these members and look at their profile and get a, and figure out which one I want to connect with. And then as you can see right here in the results, the, Reggie and I share three connections. Pete and I share two, to scroll down a little bit more, Derek and I share three, and then over here, Ken and I share five. I need to look at each one of these profiles, get a feeling for which one of these individuals who are VP or Vice President of Sales working for Oracle that I wanna ask one of our shared connections to introduce me to that person before I send them a connect request. A warm intro is far more successful than just hitting the connect button right here and sending them an uh, invite. Even if I use a personal note, I would much rather have a shared connection introduce me via email, telephone, or in real life, then I'll send a connect request. 
Bottom line, in the past, we could start with our network and we could go outward and find people we want to connect with and ask these people to introduce us. Today, we have to start with the companies, the individuals in the companies, use second level search so we can find an individual that we are connected with who can introduce us to those people in those companies. Again, I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn coach and trainer, and I hope this little video is helpful.